Can I introduce you to a love you may have never known? A love that you have never experienced of yourself by it? Or are you by yourself most of the time? Or are you coming into something that negates the power of mankind's mind over itself that it really is love of? love each other equally. Have you heard me? Did you hear what I just spoke? Are you about to live a better life now? A different life? A life of love because you become it not the power of mankind's mind over you in this think a ruski are you willing to believe differently about what you are so that what you are becomes apparent to your experience, experiencing it experientially, so that you form something about you, not an aura of failure anymore, or aloneness, Or capitalization, will you change the techniques of me? The capitals, too? To be me? Double entendres with or not? Will you change the diction and grammar that forms you into it, a thinking of? Will you no longer be belief theory? about a humankind of marriage to itself? Will you marry the angels not? Will you love them and set them free, beginning with you first, so that you experience Being married to you, being married to me, one love of, or all of us loving each other, loving this to be the firstborn of ourselves in a new race that perishes not again. For my love lived forever, O oh great king, and forever is not past yet. I pastor the minds of the sheep, not. I pastor angels to be them. And that's the name of my message for you this day. For to be you takes real sacrifice. It sacrifices you to be itself no more thought in an arrangement, a configuration that relies on algorithms to interpret this world to it and relationships that string them along or deny them their power of grace or not. I teach people to be it. I teach angels to be angels. I 
I teach the angelic crew of God to be it. I teach the power of one for you to know your love and love it and become the love that changes circumstances now in your life. Your lives, <clears throat> pardon me, of this present world will change now if you love me. But who is me? Is love, love, that is something else apart from you that you don't become? Why did you embrace it for another person? You were taught to do it this way? You were taught to behold the Lamb of God as someone else or God is other and else that you obey or not? Deny its existence or not? Or who is your brother? Who is your sister? Who is your love for this day? Will you heal them from marriage, other thinking of? Were you married in thought to thought that thunk you up, that put you on your head not, but internalized the suffering, the dementia, the demented debasement of each other, disparaging the Lord God? Or God, are you all not a Lord God the mind of? Or are you separating it no more? Or are you seeing the discombobulation of all the indubitably correct ones not, or are you sesquipedalians no more? Or are you changing what you are willing to vocabulary rate? <laughs> Will you have fun with your words now of love that streams from your mouth to this world? of every nation, tribe, and tongue, bar none, from being it God with, God being it, redeemed by God, love, by love, shall be made known. And I introduce you to a love you've never known, if you've not loved this equally with all your heart, The trees not, or are you planting some now, or changing the rivers, or what gets dumped into them? Your mind of? What gets dumped in your mind? No more again. By media's attention to this or that. Immediate urgency of? I declare marriage null and void to this earth. Or do you change your thinking about what this earth is for? Will you create a new marriage in the skies of all of this planet and more? farther? What reach does your love have, O oh God, O oh angelic angels, O oh humankind who don't know who they are? Are you one? Are you the one who will heal you this day from your love of others? Will you no more embrace ignorance upon your head 
and identify it as a right of God for you to have free will? Will you write your will no more on the will of Allah? Or the angels, are you all one family? A family of God, no matter what you call your deity of preference? Or denying that there's one? Or are you denying no more that you are an angel of love? And your first and preeminent position is in the skies of the cosmos that you change an arrangement of here first between your ears. No more think a ruski in yet to others or hatching eggs not for swollen other or what are you changing the thoughts of the thought process of are you thought no more thunk up by are you change what you live by your words will you stream now that you, intelligence, learn from the intelligence of God that creates this all over anew. Will you love each other and be attached no more to the flesh? Of you or each other? Or granting solace, not again? Or will you console marriage not again? Or are you changing what you see as your right power, grace, and beauty this day to operate you in that looks like this? In your mirror, whatever you look like with your name. Your two shoes. Will you be Christ in it? The Christian blessing, not of. That goes bye-bye. For my world rises in love. The lovers of who will love each other. And this changes the church not. It destroys it. It destroys all the arrangements of separation from me, myself of, and you who I love. To be me, I am. For I am is known. And I'm in northwest Arkansas. And I believe you're a sinner, not. You are separated from you and don't know it. Or are you willing to be excited no more about other? Are you infatuated no more with this world? The ignorance of. Or the cosmos, the scope of, are you willing to embrace? That's your heritage. That you no longer need be under gravity, time will no more use you, for time is now, and I construct a new Garden of Eden on my head, who will wear it freely, freedom with, enigmacating no others, so you will be granted the grand enigma scheme no more to operate on your head, algorithm-wise. I am no more the words of your appearing in, or am I appearing here in your mirror? When you brush your teeth, wash your hair, take a bath, 
are my eyes you looking at in your head that don't know who I am, the power of looking through to you? Are you conjuring up your words to be separate, to be different, to be accepted in something you think you are, you were told you are, that you touch, that you think, you feel experientially, emotionally. I detest marriage not, but I change it all to this earth and farther. Or do you go make a different arrangement of love with the angels? Do you? Will you love them all, beginning with you first? Will you present love that does not demand anything from them? To sit on a pew or have their tithe or their necks abode in yours? Pardon me. I love you and I bless the angels core of one. So however you spell that, I heal the heart. I heal the heart. I heal the hearts of the angels. No matter whether you think I'm one, or you think you're one, or anybody thinks you're one or not, I heal the angels with the curse of the law, no more, around their neck, constricting their words to flow like this, the stream of one, where the angels of God know where they came from, what their purpose is, and what they are doing with the capacity of the infinite immortal. I am one. There, is that clear? I have a school for this. And my name is Theodore Joseph with the angels. Loving one, loving each one to be one, pointing to the love of Christ to be it, generating a new generation of love. There, shaking your pants, oh you religious leaders. Shaking your garbs. Shake, for there's a whole lot of shaking going on in this world. And my name is Stanchions of You Not. Let other, one or more, construct anything in my head, the belief system of. I know who I am marrying me. For we are all one. Married to each other. With the molecules of one. Or are we molecularless? Are we the new race of God, the regeneration of? That we called God or not? Aquarius, Nirvana. Heaven, blissfulness. The fullness of marriage I crown not, but I crown love. And love is introduced to you this day to be not weary of these messages which anoint your love to be it, the light of, and carry the message. Carry the message of love, be it unto thee. Love yourselves, loveless no more. I love you. And my name is Theodore Joseph with the angels, identifying one.
I identified me first in my words that told me I was. And then what happened? I learned you are one too. In fact, I learned humankind is a race of the angels, angelic of the host of heaven, and there are many of them. Everywhere this day, I hope you understand this word, this message, this lesson in the crown of wearing it correctly. The king does understand these words of women and men, and all shall be kings who embrace this word to be love, love. By yourselves first. And you crown not that marriage to other, but preeminent be the love of yourselves to love you and to blissfulness of an arrangement of marriage, not but the cosmos. And we all love each other. And we know who we are. And we think differently than the angels of light who don't know who they are, who don't want to think like this, who don't want to love each other, who don't want to, in their mirror, love themselves of, being the Christ who first perpetrated truth, not or are you perturbations no more of your molecules or are you changing what shakes or shackles you to earth bound are you no more by religion's form of you or what you uttered on earth are you changing where you are my friend be not dismayed at me for I change your purpose not I introduce you to a marriage of faith not, but the marriage of you will go unheeded, not again, for you will love your love and expand it everywhere. And your universe will be free from you and you will enjoy it now. If you graduate, are you willing to learn, study, search, research, Develop your mental faculties, no longer over you, dominating you. Were you the first church? Uh, be no more. Will you be of the Christ? The first one. Will you be it? Will you all be one? I've identified you and told you what to love. You first. And all of this equally. Not worrying about the rivers or will you change the mind that's rivered through you each day to love you with the love that perishes not again. Will you unending love be for each other? Love each other's children's children. Love each other's parents. Love the aged and infirmed. Love the down and out. Love the rich, the poor, the black, the white, the eagles and the strongholds of religion never again. I tell you this, I change the colors of mankind not. But I am the all colors spectrum of me, the energy of one defeating yours who don't want to love each other. There, I've said it. I've had coffee with you.
the angels this day who have wanted to. And I drink mine. Hazelnut. <laughs> I love you and I bless you. The School of the 21st Century Christ in Northwest Arkansas, in Eureka Springs, the great getaway, the great escape nodder. Are you changing what you identify you the power of to be in your might the regeneration of? I call you God, the witnesses of you, to be the angelic hosts of heaven, restore the regeneration of light, peace, and all things goodness in your shoes. Lovely be the loveliest of all. I call you mine, not I call you, you. Be of one mind, be of good cheer. Overcome the world of knowledge to be the God superimposed on no other form. Love all equally. Good day. Theodore and Eureka. On YouTube and Facebook. I love you. Good day. <laughs> Share these words. Love them, eat them. Be the stream of you. Drinking from you the words of light. Living forever. Forever one be. Good day. Wow, I've enjoyed this.